the last thing that I kind of want to talk about uh -huh. um, for a quick second is how the show kind of puts Esperanto, this uh, structured language that is real and created and has been in existence in history, kind of has its own spot. And then LOA, which is like totally manifested for the context of the show and how um, we kind of, uh, I think, so Leah Johnson specifically talks about um, the head versus the heart of right. Esperanto being kind of the head, the intellectual side, and then um, LOA being this language of love and the heart language. Do you want to speak into that, Rachel? Yeah, sure. So the I think there's two angles because there's like the actual, like the way Leah and you and I worked with the actors to like yeah. find contrast in their voice between the different languages. And then there's also like the context of the show angle to talk about. It's it's cool because it's in both of those things. Yeah. Um, so I guess for the first, the first angle, um, just like diction wise and and vocal production wise like mm. esperanto is much more similar to like latin and spanish in the way that we we have um a shape of our line and our voice that's recognizable yeah um and like the context of the language is really familiar to us so we can analyze it and we can be like really heady about the way we say like this vowel is pronounced like this and right, this consonant right. makes this sound and all that <laughs> stuff which we like communicated with them yeah, and everything yeah absolutely to come up with some rules um and then LOA since it's totally non-existent and like we kind of worked to try to come up with some rules mm. but ultimately I think we were just like just go with what you feel yeah. and like like use your use the emotion of the line and the heart of the line you know to kind of drive the way that the pronunciation ends up um and I think it's like it's difficult to get people out of that like heady rule logic brain when you're speaking because you know especially I feel like our our cast they really want to do everything right yeah. and correctly but mm -hmm. uh, which is a great quality for an right, actor absolutely. to have <laughs> but you know with Eloy we were like you, you can't be wrong you know just like do whatever you want um and make it as as ooey gooey as you can yeah. you know um and then in the context of the play I mean they really Julia Cho really uses the two languages to show this contrast between you know he um, our main character is is torn between his ability to communicate and his yeah. like in in various languages for his like work and his job and then his inability to communicate in his personal life so these characters come in that speak this gorgeous language that allows them to like freely communicate within their yeah. interpersonal relationship and like be really like heart forward and speak their souls and everything yeah um and meanwhile he's like studied all these yeah he's not heard this language right yet right because they come to record it for the first time yeah. and he's studying all of these like very logic-y rule-based languages and mm -hmm. he doesn't know how to express himself at all so and, oh yeah. and that that whole discussion about the complexity of connection i think you know this language is the language of love but then when they fight they can't fight in that language because right. it's the language of love meanwhile the main character george you know he's he's struggling to connect in all these other ways and he loves esperanto because it's got those rules and functions right. and then you know the person in the show who's in love with him she has to learn to express her love in esperanto even though right. that's not the language of love that the show sets up right because yeah. there's just so much complexity surrounding uh, like how we connect with other people specifically in, in like these loving sort of ways, which is right. uh, totally. wildly, I, wildly interesting. I think the best nugget of all is, is in that, in that line where they can't speak in LOA when they're angry at each other yeah. because it's the language of love, but, but they can speak in English because it's the language <laughs> of anger. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's pretty real. Yeah. That's, a, that is a po potent line. That is a potent line. A potent line. Rings pretty true. Oh so. my gosh. Incredible. Yeah.